like we always do at this time. What up, people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back again. Mama Duck has some more information to say about FBG Duck. Now, I'm hearing a lot of bullshit on these YouTube streets. You know, it is what it is. I'm just the outsider looking at. I'm not a blogger, first of all. So I know when she be like, y'all blogger, she ain't talking about me because she got number love for a nigga like me. You know what I'm talking about? Real nigga like me. Never should have been let out the penitentiary. But you know, let's be, let's be, let's be blatant. I'm going to be as blatant as I can be without being disrespectful to anybody, especially you, Mama Doug, please. I'm not saying this to be in a disrespectful tone. But the FBG Doug case. Mama Doug went on to say, because am I in my type? I said allegedly, because I can't say that little Weezy was accused of doing nothing but jumping on the plane the day that Doug died. He did do that. He got the fuck out of Chicago. Maybe he left because he knew that the heat was on. Niggas was going to get shot at. Maybe he didn't even know that. And my understanding, Doug was under investigation too. For the shooting a little Michi. So that's why people will be like, oh, Michi dropped the location. But they saying that Vaughn is the one who dropped that location. I don't want to blame anybody and say this person did it because we don't know, like she said. Stop capping. Stop making up shit because I seen the thing popped up. I already said that in my thing that it was so funny shit about um, little Reese the day that he jumped on the plane. Like Mama Duck said, that's not really true. She never seen Reese's name in the complaint, but I'm sure that the feds not even telling her everything. But then, I guess her and AK work together. I'm not sure. I'm not saying they do or they don't, but she said that he could call her. I ain't got your goddamn number, Mama Duck. Mama Duck, I ain't got your number. I got other people's numbers. I ain't got your number. I want to call you too sometimes and be like, hey. A, B, C, before I do certain videos. Because if I don't hear it, I'm going to just still make my videos and go off assumptions. Because like I said, my videos is all based off assumptions. What I think. Not what the court said. Not what the federal government said. AK-47 got to jump on people because from my understanding, it's who came to Mama Duck in some type of way. I don't know if that's true or false. But I know she said she do talk to him so he, get, he could ask her. I want to be able to ask you shit too. So I'm talking that out there. But let me explain something to y'all about the FBG Doug murder case. She said they would not be charging the guys with the death penalty. I'm sure they're not. That's... <sighs> nah. Yeah. See, they study got me all on the internet trending and shit. And I want to recollect on Say Cheese because he was the first blogger that I seen posted. If anybody else posted it, I didn't see it. But I seen his first. So, and his post was recent court documents indicate that the old black members who allegedly killed FBG Duck are no longer facing the death penalty. I went live the other day on my IG. I don't know if I'm saying it. Um, I went live. And I knew that. You know, it could have had something to do because it was a death penalty case. You know, anything being found under the week, you know what I'm saying? I miss other shit. But when they ask my opinion, and then I and that's what we all giving opinions. So I'm gonna stop right there for one second. Let me explain something to y'all. 
why would they have to get him the death penalty? Let me explain something some shit to you. Whatever gun they used was an automatic weapon. That's what the case is so big about. They wanted to take that automatic weapon off the street, and they trying to probably still figure out where the fuck is that gun, because that's whoever don't tell them they're going to ban their asses. They don't have to get them the death penalty. Let me tell you why. Think about this. They said from leaving O Block, they got them in eight other different fucking locations doing fucking acts. What acts are those? We know one of the acts was a carjacking. Man, ask anybody how much time you get for a fucking carjacking, bro. Niggas be getting 55 years, 45 years. Then you got a murder. You know, because if it got people, they said about the murder, about the murder, right? Two cars pulled up. The black car pulled up. They started shooting. They said that the dudes that got out that Chrysler, the guys who got out the Chrysler is the ones who shot Duck girlfriend, which is a which is a key witness. I ain't gonna say his girlfriend or the female that was with Duck that day. I don't know who she was. The female that was with Duck them that day. Somebody got out and shot at her. Another guy got out the front passenger seat and shot Duck. Now, only thing that plays Muwap is is being on the scene of the crime and being a conspirator. Conspirators get time too. Not as much as the actual person. They never said that Muwap shots killed Duck. They said whoever jumped out the front seat. Then later on in the report, the report goes on to say, C. Murder jumped out the passenger front seat on camera. They came back to Old Block. And they said that the guy with the dreads or the guy with the, the, the braids, whatever, jumped out the car, got a mask on, but they seen his braids hanging out. And he shot Duck. Other guy was shooting at the girl in the car. Then she started shooting back, or whoever started shooting back to make him flee the scene and not kill her. Other guy got shot too. That was with Duck over there. Now, his videos of people saying that Duck shot that guy. I don't know nothing about that. They never ever ever said that Duck shot no other guy. But I can tell you this: they was investigating FPG Duck. A little Reese shooter. Now we know that Reese wasn't already working with the feds. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it looked too easy to be like, yeah, Reese, he shot Reese in the neck. So that's why Reese got back at him. And Reese is the one who dropped the location. The feds probably sit back laughing at this shit. Like, these niggas don't know what the fuck they talking about. They speculating. I ain't finna sit here and speculate. I ain't finna disrespect this woman's son any further than any of us already probably have done to her. Saying that shit that, that about her son that ain't even fucking I really happening. Sorry, we ain't mean to start that video. But. And then I just think about my own son. <laughs> Telling me out his own mouth. That he would rather be dead than go to prison. Why would you think he told her that? And mama does no disrespect to you, your son, and y'all business. But I'm just telling you. And then when he got the little chain, is this the chain you got on? With the chain with the AK-47. They say he had the chain. I, I never witnessed the chain myself. They had a chain with AK-47 on it. The same, the same like mim mimicking the AK-47 that shot Richie in the neck. So that's why people will come up with that conclusion of like, oh yeah, Richie dropped the low. But Mama Duck confirmed that's bullshit. So we don't want to place no blames on Richie and get Richie damned up or hurt or anything crazy. And she's confirming that it ain't Reese who dropped the location. I did a video yesterday, and I was even thinking that it was Reese. I ain't gonna lie, because I read all the blogs, too. Sure. Like I said, I, I, I do commentation on blogs that I don't read off YouTube. I explain that to YouTube. Only use your content, so if you want to strike me, you want to strike me from using your content. So, hey, listen. She's saying that it ain't Reese, so she haven't heard that. But always know, Duck was under investigation for shooting Reese in the neck. That's all I'm saying. 
And it's sad to say, because I used to have these deep conversations with my boys. You know, I got up in there real deep. And I used to have these deep. And this nigga Brick <laughs> and so many words told me I ain't going back to jail, mama. I ain't going back to jail. It's horrible in jail. Especially now. Y'all look at all them videos as motherfuckers living good in jail and got cell phones and all that shit. That's in them small towns. Population probably two or three hundred or some shit. But Cook County Federal Institution they and Menard and Anyway, long story short, I'm going to stop this right there. Rest in peace to FBG Brick and FBG Duck. Um, I did a video earlier this morning with somebody that was did the little shot thing. I thought I put the other video out and not that video. So I put that video up on the stage. But I took it back off anyway. It don't matter about views. I ain't really, you know, that. I just felt like it's about, I was trying to see what the humor was and like who, I didn't get it anyway. Listen. If Duck was already under investigation, the Fed's been involved in this case for over two years now. Over two years, the Fed's been investigating this case. In two years, they came up with all these other people and their other shit that happened. When they killed Duck that day, they said that they followed them to eight other locations, pinged them at eight other locations where crimes was committed. That's why they said there was a criminal organization riding around robbing people. These y'all niggas just rap, y'all fund yourselves. And, 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 and damn, damn. I hate to say it like this because it's going to sound so goddamn. Y'all, they fancied themselves to be rappers. And they wasn't rappers, they was hitman, killers, and robbers. I mean, they understand this here. That's why she's probably smiling when she said, oh, they're not giving them the death penalty. They probably don't want to give them the death penalty. They want them to sit right here and suffer because they're going to get, they're going to get charged with more than duck shooting. Even the guy that they shot up in a critical condition, that's another charge. The girl they shot up in, that's another charge. The person they caught that, that's another charge. They have several fucking charges in front of them. I don't see how people just keep on saying, oh, yeah, they're going to beat that. They're going to beat that. Because some of these charges, and they, and they, they watch them run out of old block, dumping these cars with certain clothes on. Somebody was jumping around the car with the same clothes. They, they could show pictures of them running out of old block with same building, everything. So either you gonna say, no, after I got there, we dropped the car to this person. You can't collaborate from old block to the next stop. And they said, it's you at the next stop. They proved their case. You gotta prove that. That wasn't me. You gotta know who jumped in the car after you. Either the driver gotta know. That's why they separated all the way they separated them. Move up in there. Muwa probably not going to be charged with murder because they're not saying that Muwa is the one who killed Doug. I'm sorry, not for what I read on the reports. They're all public, they're all public knowledge now, right? For what I read, they said whoever jumped out of the Chrysler, and I ain't naming who jumped out the Chrysler. Two people jumped out the Chrysler. Damn it. Damn it, man. And rest in peace to one of them. Damn it. Damn it. So... If he was one of the shooters, he can't say, can't defend himself, bro. Most of the charges probably going to go out for the shooting of the duck. But he's a dead, he's dead. That's why they killed that boy and say he OD. He ain't OD. He ain't OD. I'm sorry to say it like that. He ain't OD. But y'all know what? I'm going to leave it right there for now because I want to try to bring the records to that shit. I want you to be able to sit back, watch this video, and be like, damn. Excuse me, I'm smoking. I want you to be able to be like, damn. That's really something to think about. That's all my videos is about. Not to 
make videos for the police or try to act like an internet detective. No, if I can watch a video and see this, they don't tell her who else I watch it. That's because I'm going to get my subscribers to commentate me about it. Don't make me a snitch. You snitch to yourself you put in a video. And name the people that was dead and how they died. So I'm not telling how these people died and who did it. How could I be a fucking snitch? I'm just a fucking, as she said, a blogger. I'm a fucking blogger. That's what I am. I'm a fucking blogger. They were not seeking it for neither one of them. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm, I didn't wrote my impact statement already, right? And that, and, and, and that ain't going to change. But Damn. <laughs> so, I How should I feel about that? Should I be mad? These guys ain't facing the death penalty. Should I be mad? Nope. Nope. Why? Why? When I'm getting exactly what I wanted. Just. Hell yeah, I want my son here. <laughs> Don't you? Hell yeah, he should be here. That's right. I'm supposed to be here. Mm-hmm. Shit, for that matter, everybody's sons should be supposed to be here. Right. That ain't died under these circumstances due to this rap beef, you know. All these dudes died over a rap beef. No, it's bigger than a rap beef. I'm sorry. The BDs and GDs ain't start off as rappers. The BDs and GDs was not rappers at first. They just started having the cheap keeper and little JoJo's and all of that stuff. But None of these boys really deserve to be dead. Like, this is crazy and it's sad at the same token. None of these young brothers deserve to be dead. None of them deserve the fate that they got. But if this was my kids, I don't know how I'd be. Like, I don't know how. She's a strong-ass person. I don't know how I'd be still like, yo, it's cool. Nah, it won't be cool with me, man. I'll probably be in jail my damn so. See, she's a lady. I'm a master. Like we had shit different. Like I get where she going, and I'm, I'm I'm happy that I did get to see all this in my days. So if something do happen, maybe I'll be this strong and this graceful. But why would she be concerned about them getting a fucking death penalty when they're going to get multiple life sentences? Remember, I told you this. They're going to get multiple life sentences. That's worse than death row. That's worse than goddamn death row. I mean, you, are, you ain't gonna never ever see a girl again unless it's a guard or a nurse. You get married. Maybe somebody will marry them and come in there and see them and they can get a little college school. And, mm, I don't know how that works. But to be 20 some years old and saying, you finna get life? <laughs> Dead man walks. Dead man walking. That's how I look at it. My boy Costa Dino. Much respect to his mama duck. Check this shit out, y'all. Check this shit out. Word up. Word up. Mark it up to him, right? Right now I'm at 17 some subscribers, right? I say by March or April, I want five more thousand subscribers added on my shit ASAP. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button right now. Hit that button. Hit that like button. Y'all ain't got to send me no money. Fuck the cash app. Cash apps are dead over here. I don't want no cash app. 
Just like and watch my video. If you're not subscribed, oh well, it's cool. As long as you watch these videos and show me love, thumb up that motherfucker. Hey, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. To all my young brothers that lost their life, rest in peace to you and much love to your kids. To all the young brothers that's here and able, stay safe out here, bro. Keep your nose on the bullshit. And don't use the gun for beefs because you can dead that man. But then what's going to happen to your life and your kids? Always think when beef come to you, you got a child. Always think that man, my baby, my baby. And it'll make you kind of walk away from a lot of shit, my young brothers. So I hope you do hear this. If it's a beef coming and you got a child, think about your child and retreat that shit. Don't be the tough guy that's going to go to jail. Because even if you beat that beef by killing that man and you go to jail, what's going to happen to your baby? You think somebody's going to take care of your baby and have more love for your baby than you? Nah, man. That's how a lot of these young girls I get molested, raped, fucking date raped. Goddamn. What's that shit they doing when they still little girls? Fucking child trafficking and all this shit. Because we ain't here. Either we dead in jail or walking around in hell and not even seeing the light of what's really going on and want to be a tough guy. Tough guys always end up in a fucked up space and place. That little bitty cell is about the size of a casket hole that they're going to put you in. It makes sense, right? Your jail cell is about the size of a casket hole that they're going to put you in. So basically, when you're going to jail, they're saying you're already about dead when they put you in that little ass space. And that's where you got to live at, go to sleep at, wash your ass, take a shit, go to sleep at in one little room. Let's get hit, brothers. Let's make these jails go out of business without our presence. My white brothers, the same thing to you. Indian, Latinos, Puerto Ricans, whatever the fuck you is. Let's make, if you go to jail, change your attitude, bro, because without us, it will be no them. I'm going to leave it right there. Because if I ain't dropping knowledge, if I ain't dropping a drink on you right now, you ain't wet yet. So, you know, you ain't wet. I'm just going to keep moving. I mean, I ain't doing what I'm supposed to have to do. Check this out, y'all. Like, share, subscribe. It's your boy, God. Sit down. I'm out of this bitch. Peace.